Hi, everyone. Today we read or listened to the story, Van Gogh and the Sunflowers. So today you're going to be creating a drawing of sunflowers. And you can do that one of three ways. The first thing you can do is use paper and pencil or crayons or markers, whatever you have, to draw your sunflowers. And to draw my sunflower, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a circle for the center, just like that, and then go around the edge of my circle with all different triangles. So I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. And one of the easier things to do is to turn my paper as I'm drawing so that I can make my triangles. So that could be one way to do this assignment is by drawing on paper or, and I'm gonna start sharing my screen. There we go. You can use the Google Draw attach this assignment and either use the scribble tool or the shape tool. So when you go into your specialist Google Classroom, you're gonna look for this assignment, Van Gogh and the Sunflowers, and open up that Google Draw that's attached. And remember the file has your name. So the first thing I can do is use the scribble tool. And the scribble tool is located under the select line tool. And to get to the scribble tool, I'm gonna click this little arrow and then go to the word scribble. So I can start by drawing my circle and then adding my triangles. And I can just go all the way around the edge of my circle. Now last week when we made Arnie the donut, we found out that we can make our scribble lines thicker or thinner and change the color. So remember to do that, I can go to the line weight tool to make my lines thicker. And then I can go to this line color tool, which is this pencil with the line underneath it, and I can change my colors. And I might wanna do that to the circle in the center as well. So there, I would have my sunflowers. The last way I can make my sunflower is by using the shape tool, which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with a circle for my center. And then remember, I can change the color by going to the fill color tool. And then I can add the petals by drawing triangles all the way around. Now this part is a little tricky because sometimes I am going to have to move or turn the triangle shapes. So I'm gonna make one, I'm gonna change the color. And then I'm gonna make another one, except this time, I'm going to need to turn my shape by clicking, putting my mouse on this little circle so that my mouse turns into a plus sign. And then I can spin the triangle and then move it to where I want it to go. And then I can go ahead and change the color. And I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around the sunflower. So I'll go to the shape tool, find my triangle, draw it out, spin it, move it, and then change the color. If you decided to draw your sunflower on paper, please remember to take a picture of your drawing. And remember to do that, we go to the insert image button, the camera button. You're gonna hold your picture up, click that yellow camera button, and then hit the word insert. So those are the three ways that you can complete your sunflowers. If you have any questions, please reach out to me by either commenting on the assignment, sending me an email, or having your adult contact me on Google on uh, Class Dojo. Have a great rest of your day.